Talk about Jeezy. Mm-hmm. You was in the Jeezy camp for a while, right? Mm-hmm. How long were you with the, uh, were you with him when he was snow? Was you, were you with him after snow? Was you with him with Slick Pull on them? What, 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 what time period were you with Jeezy? Uh, the Real is back. And uh, the Motivation 3. Oh, yeah. Okay. Slick Puller was around all that, though. All them people was around. Slick Puller used to come pick me up in the morning. We used to go work out together. I wonder why he never did. I, I liked his voice. No, mm-hmm. He used to be so serious about it, too. Or I'd go pick him up, or we'd just meet at the gym, and he'd be so serious about it. I'm talking about in that bitch like he'll train him. Just so by working out? Yeah, and then we leave. he go get a turkey sandwich and shit in the West End. Some orange juice. <laughs> I mean, like this nigga Slick Puller was serious. What was he so serious about? Just being in shape or just his health? Or was he just trying to... Well, Slick Puller, nigga, that was in and out of jail, too. So, you know, nigga probably... He used to do the pull-ups and all that, too. Okay. So, you feel me? He just oh, yeah. like working out, I'd say, okay. probably. I yeah. think when, when you say he was serious about it, I, I envision you talking about he was serious about the rap game and trying to get in with Jeezy. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Yeah, he was serious about working out. out. Yeah, okay, yeah, I feel yeah. you. So, how was it working with Jeezy? That was cool. I really it was cool. What I what I want to know is this: when you started your company, mm-hmm. different artists used to hire you to go on the road with them to film the experience. Mm-hmm. Was is that what how you would put it? Uh, yeah, but no. Tell me about no, it. no, 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 no. That's 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 what it. That's what kind of like. That's kind of like what I what I start. What I that wasn't the start, right? But that's kind of like what I would do yeah. to make some money, right? Okay. But that wasn't the start of it, type shit. The start was more or less just um. Uh, shit. Um. Just. Uh. Shit. I don't know. I would say just filming, I guess. Just the filming part. I was just filming just homies type shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just fucking like filming homies. And then they, then it transformed and morphed into filming on the road. And on- I put it like this. I guess what I was going to get to is this. It, it went from, it was started out like, yeah, just filming homies. And then homies want me to just pull up because I'm just... Uh, I was just niggas just wanted me around first, yeah. And then I just end up filming it. Okay, when I figured out the DVD game, mm. that was yeah mid two thousand. Yeah, when I figured two thousand six, no nah, two thousand eight. Okay, nine. when I figured out the <clears throat> DVD game, niggas was like, "I, I, I want to be on the DVD, good." Oh yeah. So that was. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. how you. Yes, now I feel you I, because I do remember. If you had the the smarts to put your own DVD out, mm-hmm. it was major. It was probably more powerful than the music at the time. Yeah, it was. So it you was. know what I mean? Yeah, it was. Because I used to put stuff on there and just and niggas are learn songs off of the yes, DVD. Yes, I mean from every, every well, hood to hood. My hood to your hood, them DVDs. And then I started doing the DVDs with all the videos on there. So I had like 50 videos on the DVD. Oh, yeah. yeah. You killing it. Killing them. How many were you pressing up? Can you talk about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10, 20,000 and shit like oh, that. Oh, God. Yeah, you was doing like screw. Mm-hmm. Just killing on. the game. Yep, and then it's all this. Or was you out the, out the trunk with it? Out the trunk. State to but, state. But what happened was this. Zero percent. I, I was just telling Rello this <laughs> when I had, after I put out the first one, I was like, God, good, because every time I do some type of trilogy shit, he just, God just want me to stick with it. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. So, like, when I did one, he brought in, like, a little distribution dude, right? But he, he knew, like, a lot of stores or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. Link with him, learned all the stores, shit, and then I was a monster. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you got started. And then I see you. I'll be sending them bitches to New York, okay. to LA. Oh, to yeah. Everywhere. I've like. been hearing about Gutter for a long time. Yes. Yeah, and it was an honor to meet you over there at Boss Talk. Yeah. Shout out to E, Mr. Make over there at Boss Talk. Yep. Shout out Boss Talk. That's our family, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I did. You've been back over there again. I did. Oh, yeah. You going while you're here? I already went. Today? I went today. Oh, you are see. This is number three. 
I actually, I'm on a four. I did Spade TV, and I'm doing This or Dead, and I'm just moving around. That's how you do it, bro. Keeping that name hot. But, but you know it's set from your, your date, your time. So when I set that 25th with you, yes, then I put the... You made me feel yeah. special. You feel me? You made me feel no, see, that's man. how it went. When I got, well, the, I mean, I was the first one to reach out. Yeah, well, they probably been reaching out, but I reached out at the right time. Huh? Well, see, I ain't, I don't, I don't stay here, right? Mm-hmm. So it got to be somebody that is, that I either got respect for for me to come. Thank you, you see bro. what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. Like I ain't just gonna take the miles because I ain't make no no money or nothing on yeah. this trip. Like I was just, you feel me? I, mean, I would have waited till I had a bag out here. Yeah. Feel me? Normally, yes. But I was like, I kept passing your texts and the phone, and I was like, man, I got to tell OG some. <laughs> fuck it. I just yeah, picked the date. Ain't gonna stop. I'm going to hit you back. I just picked the date. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to pick a day to live to it. It's yeah. real. Whatever one I tell him, I'm going. I like that. Yeah. He's I'm going to have to work. start doing that because I don't like committing to stuff. Well, I sent him like two or three dates. Yeah, it's hard. It's committing. hard to be oh, like, yeah. Ugh. It is. Too. Especially when you got. Especially when the time mm-hmm. you like, Exactly. Oh, Especially when the time comes. <laughs> but I got yes. over that though, because what I start doing now is mm-hmm. I like the picking a date or something. Cause now I get prepared. Yeah. So yes. as this day week was going, I'm mm-hmm. like, shit, I know I gotta go to Dallas on da, 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 da. You know what it is. You know what I'm That's saying? What it is. Like you gotta tell folks. Yeah, you, you gotta start telling folks. To yourself yeah, to yourself. nah, you gotta t- <laughs> that way everybody else be like, Ain't you going out of town tonight? Yeah. Like, yeah. I am. I am. <laughs> You're like Rello. He been yeah. calling me for two days. Blood, you ain't on the road. Uh, yeah, like yeah. I you see what I'm coming. saying? I'm, I'm on. Coming. I'm coming. It's your girl Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos. 